I wanted to own a Model T Ford Speedster. Ford was the largest car company in the world in the first part of the last century, and they built over 15 million Model Ts. So I bought a 95-year-old frame, and I cleaned it up, and I started building a Speedster. Many people did at that time, because the Model T was kind of a plain-looking car, but a Speedster had a speedy-looking body with a monocle windshield, and it was a really, really neat car. I started building the frame, uh, the body shapes. I built the... Uh, they uh, put on the radiator, I put on the cowling, I bought new tires and put on it. I was making good progress in building a Model T Speedster. I put on the gas tank where they were always behind the seat on a Speedster. And I started building all the parts. I made the fenders myself, soldering together steel to make a perfect fender. And I was making wonderful progress. I made the seat frame for my Model T Speedster. I really was getting everything done. And then I all of a sudden read that uh, Ford, his best friend was Thomas Edison, uh, built some electric Model Ts. So my original plan was to install an engine I had and have a complete Model T. But I then took the gas tank off and I put solar panels on the bat. I bought deep cycle batteries and I put three in the back and three where the motor would have been. And I made it an electric Model T. Inside, uh, I had to put controls, so I made in the dash a, a large antique voltmeter to tell me our, my range and all the controls. And pretty soon, I had an electric Model T Speedster complete with its monocle windshield, and my family enjoyed it. It was fun to drive. It was a bulb horn, as Model T's had at that time, that was real loud, and it was fun to drive. And my children, my grandchildren would take it for rides, and it was just a pleasure to have a Model T Speedster. Uh, we would drive it around and get more and more experience driving it, going further and further, and we took it for longer and longer trips and gave rides to our friends. But then we would park it pointed north so the solar panels could recharge the battery, so we had no cost for anything. The sun made our power, and we would drive our Model T Speedster. We didn't know how far it would go, and we didn't want to be stranded someplace, so we would take longer and longer trips. So one day, my friend Bill and I took it all the way, all over town, and then ended up at the airport in Bad. And we went back for well over 10 miles, and the voltage showed that our range was doing very, very well, that we were using less than half the power. So we think we have a range of about 20 miles. It was ready to go, so we put it in the trailer and took it to the big solar convention at Tampa. And I'm so pleased because I have a Model T, 95 years old, a Speedster that doesn't cost anything to run or drive because we use power from the sun.